Right, that was it for Twitch. Say that again. Uh, yeah. What's that? Well, we'll oh, my bad. We'll be eventually, but um, uh, come on, there we go. Boom! Right. Cool. Okay, Koki. I, I need to go get turned over right back. Yeah. Okay. Always end up saying boob in um that's <laughs> just not good. Right. Uh Trojan's in, John's in, Sarah's in, bunch of in. Okay, so that's everybody. So we'll wait until Matey comes back. Is Melina in? Or does she expect us to be on? Um, or is she just listening? I think she's just listening from a comment. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, obviously, Zero would know better, but from a comment, I think she's just, she's lurking, I think. Oh, she's going to go listen on Twitch. <laughs> oh, bless her. Oh, uh, we're not on Twitch because I'm not putting my. Oh, no, no, I, I'm streaming now, man. I'm recording all of our sessions, like all of the, right. uh, the play tests. So this is recording now mm. and streaming. Uh, well, you should stream what I've got then, rather than. What do you mean? Um, uh, the, the previous videos. Yeah, well, I've got no. I've got uh, like overlays for all of that stuff. Um, do you want to send me your streamy account? Um, yeah. I'll I'll throw it on the. Oh, it doesn't show our like little icons on your screen like it shows on mine. So that might be this setting. Um, let's see, there's a setting for. I'm probably gonna be. No, no I'm not gonna be able to find it now. I've said about it, but there's an option for changing the way the the. Oh, here it goes. Maybe not. Um, you you can make them small or large. This seems to have changed recently. So do you have much bigger, like, like pictures and stuff down here? Yeah, like where our names are, where it says, yeah. like, Daryl Zero. Yeah, I see our little icons there. Uh, here we go. So that's what it looks like more, more for you, right? Maybe not that size, but like that, correct? Right, yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I see. Yeah, I have them as either. It's not there. good or bad, I, but it, it's a thing. It's a, definitely a thing, my friend, yeah. Uh, did you send me the details before? I did. I'm, I'm looking up and hold on. I'm sorry, Matt. I got distracted. That's good. I'm trying to look back as well. Can't find it. What's that one? No, that's something you sent. Yeah. If you got them slapped in the thing, I can slap them in here and it'll. Slap what in? Uh, if you can slap in the Twitch thing in oh. uh, in our chat, I'll. I can't find the details when you okay, send no them. I was looking for it on my, actually on my phone. Let me just get it for you from the, uh, from Twitch itself. Oh, you want the URL? Yeah. Uh, the well, I was going to use his account, and then I can send it from my OBS, and then you'll have. Oh, I see what oh. you want to do. Hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. So we, we, I did send you those details before. Let me get them for you really quick. Yeah, I just can't find them. No worries. I searched under Twitch, and it just came out with a million things, but <laughs> I can't see any. <laughs> One that has usernames and etc. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so that's the password. And I'm doing ask backwards, but it didn't copy properly the first time. Cool. There you go. This username does not exist. Does it have uh, an at at the end of it? Uh, mm, at no. Hold on. Let me check that again. Make sure they copy correctly. Yeah. If not, we can just wait and we'll do it this time and then I can. Just try this one. Hold on one second. I think I might Boom. try that as the, uh, the name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds better. I seem to remember that. Uh, doesn't exist. So let's leave it going on mine and we'll figure it out for next time. Yeah, this was, this was more just for recording it than anything. Yeah. Uh, so I got a copy of this anyway, and then um, we'll, um, we can stream it next time uh, through this with all the fandangle stuff. Uh, right. Start recording. Okay. So the stream looks good right now, though. I gotta say, like in terms oh, of quality. Yeah, it's not bad. Good. I mean, looks good. It's gonna, it's gonna get better. It's gonna. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have a whole load of um, um, what do you call them? Uh, embellishments. Yeah, screen wipes and stingers, yeah. that's the word, um, and overlays and blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, and I'm just doing them now to prove that they're not doing anything, obviously, because you can't see nothing. Right. Okay, so uh, can people, I know it's a couple of weeks ago, can people remember what we were doing? We were at a Tesla uh, factory looking for parts. Uh, we had the electric car that's been damaged by a bullet. <clears throat> Excuse me. There was a there was a horror scene where we all kind of lost our minds, but I, I I forget some of the specifics. But there was some dark rooms, a bunch of gunshots, and some general some like horror lurkiness. But again, some of the specifics escaped me. Yeah. So um, you're exactly right. Um, down. Oops. Uh, down here. Um, you are you guys are down here. Um, let me just flick that if everyone can see. Wait, hey, um, Matt, we're still seeing the main screen, like the, uh, the uh, Freedom on the Rock screen. Oh, strange. I've changed you over to the Tesla one. Oh, hold on one second. I'm still in this GM. Let me rejoin as a player. Sorry about that. That's why. Uh, yeah, that's why. Oh, that's right. I, I remember think. we're sticking all the fingers in all the holes of this guy. And whatever you do, <laughs> don't, don't stream the GM thing either because obviously they'll see everything yep okay so yeah everybody else see the tesla station mm -hmm. uh so there was a guy here yeah and you're sticking fingers in every hole christopher did a uh absolutely heroic um save on his um uh uh, healing role, right? I don't yeah, that. so I'm, I'm pretty sure you got him to. Um, he, he's he's going to be non coppers mentis, but I think you got him back up to um, stabilized between the two of you with both putting fingers in holes. Um, so that's those two. Um, there was a absolute threshing of everybody shooting at these guys. Um, Munch, I believe, shot Spencer uh, in the back, as well as um, a lot of other things. Do, do you have any uh, proof of that? Because I'm going to dispute that in court if I have to. I don't remember that happening. <laughs> he Spencer shot a lot of stuff, which was inanimate, um, and not the guy in front of him brandishing the uh, the big axe. Uh, Actually, was it Munch that finished him off in the end? I think it was. I, I seem to remember Munch finished him off in the end. Um, so, yeah, after um, people liking the feel of Spencer um, and the security of his knowing how to handle himself, he did not handle himself very well in the uh, in the in the first um, fight. 
uh, of his life, even though he put himself in the way of it. So Spencer is uh, potentially um, injured, uh, pretty injured, and everybody else had survived it. Uh, Chris pushed his way through and healed up the um, what was a quick to become corpse um, with Daryl and yeah we basically finished it there so um, what are you guys um, doing and can uh, Nate please make a um, uh, Trojan sorry make a perception roll for me it's going to be a minus three because we're in the middle of doing lots of other stuff. Um, okay, so um, so yeah, we're we're uh, we're just watching you um, basically pull as many bandages out of your first aid kit as you can manage, Christopher, um, getting them around this guy to stop him from bleeding it. But you seem to be you seem to have confidence in the fact that you are. Um, keeping him alive at the moment. What are you guys doing? Uh, while I'm patching all his holes, if he's conscious and able to talk, I guess I'm asking him, who are you? What are you doing? Why was this happening to you? All the I, questions. I, I don't think he'll be conscious for a bit. Then I guess um, I'm just going to be patching holes. Huh. Cool. Okay, so Daryl, are you going to continue to help? Yeah. Um, was there something on him that he had, or he's chained to a pipe at the moment? That's the that's the biggest problem to you at the moment. So you can't even lie him down particularly. Does the the dead guy got a key for that? Uh, you can check. All right, I'll check. Yep. Uh, give me a. Uh, you'll find it eventually. So yeah, he does. He's got the key. All right, I'll I'll unlock the guy. Yep. Hey, while he's doing that, is there anything down this hallway? Like, can I see anything from where Munch is at the moment, or is it too dark down here? Uh, so it's really dark down here, but you can see some boxes. Okay. Just here. Uh, is this showing up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah, you see some boxes down here. All right. So I have a flashlight. So I'm going to switch on my flashlight just to make sure I can see. <clears throat> and then um, I'm going to head down to, again, while this is going on in this room, I'm going to head down here and see what I can see from these boxes. Wow. Cool. Uh, I saw that happen. Oh, dear God, your programming skills are so good. What, the flashlight, so the you mean? The dynamic lighting. Yeah, that I can awesome? see that through the doorway. Yeah, huh? Uh, whoop. I mean, it works okay. like it's supposed to. It's line of sight, but I can see that it's actually happening. I didn't realize you had flashlights working like that, too. Yeah, so flashlights also got batteries in and batteries run out, so watch out. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, thank you. Okay, that's nice to know. Yeah, <laughs> so fla flashlights should work. Okay. Did you just turn it off? Yeah, deliberately. Do you want me to put it back yeah. on again? No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was going, oh, like, it sometimes work. Yeah, <laughs> okay. No, it does work. Okay, so, yeah, if you've got a flashlight, you should be able to click your character, and if you've got a flashlight and batteries, you'll see flashlight at the top. If you click it, it should turn it on. Now, it's a bit wishy-washy because they changed the code for lighting, um, but... Yeah, for if it doesn't work, just let me know and I'll turn it on for you. Uh, so much, yeah. Are you putting are you putting your flashlight on so that you can see properly down the corridor? I, I did to go down there, right? But I'm leery of wearing it out. But I'm also leery of letting anyone know I'm here. So I just wanted to make sure I could get from you know where I was over here down to where I am now by the crates without bumping into anything or causing problems. So I would likely have even been kind of like. Almost like holding my um, uh, holding my hand over the, the flashlight so I could see it, but limit is, is you know how far you'd be able to see me using it. Sure. Uh, so if you can roll a perception for me, please, Munch. I will give you minus two for you. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Hold on. So that was a nine. So it still would have been a success. 
Yeah. So, ah, and guys, we have changed recently, or when I say recently, I mean today. Um, I uh, Tony told me that we'd got new numbers for successes. So successes is uh, nine or and above instead of eight and above, which we've been playing with, and uh, AKA Spencer's fail there is a fail. It would have been a a success before. And I think it's 14 for a while success now. Correct. So, um, yeah. So, uh, so much. Yeah. You, you hear something from down here. Um, you can't necessarily see anything, but you can hear some sort of, um, creaking, should we say? Okay. Creaking. And, and did, creaking. were you pinging, you, you were pinging down here where I'm pinging now. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Trojan, what are you doing? You can see uh, Daryl's come over. He's frisked the um, the psycho here, the dead body, um, and he's pulled out some keys and he's gone back over, unlocked the um, um, the casualty, and uh, is helping Christopher do whatever he's asked. You're mute, Trojan. Hey there. Chosen? He's always quiet. Just check Discord. Trojan? Uh, he's in the chat. Says he's still there. Yeah. And he's not muted. Maybe he's got a problem with the... Uh, I just watched it flash on maybe have trouble with spike. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going green around you, Trojan. Maybe go back in, come back in again. Check the mic. Uh we'll continue while we're um waiting for Trojan. So um Spencer will um he's seen uh Christopher, he'll ask him if he's okay. Christopher will say, Yeah, he needs he could do with some light, so um he will turn on his flashlight and provide some flashlight right. to them. Does that work? Yep. Yay! There we go. Hey, Trojan. How you going? Good. Cool. Uh, oh. What are you up to? Um, Spencer's gone up there with his flashlight. You're free oh, to do what you uh, want. Can I go down this corridor? Wait. Which one are we talking about? The munch one? With Munch, uh, or into here? Yeah, <clears throat> in that air. Into this one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so move your, you can move two or four or six if you're sprinting around. Are you creeping uh, or are you just walking around? Uh, I'd say creeping. Okay, so let's say you're going two and then two again if you... Want to move twice? One, two, and another two. Can you make a perception at uh, minus two for me, please? Yep, cool. Uh, so you can hear some sort of shuffles from down here. Shuffles and creaks, they're, they're not good words. No. If we hear moans, I'm running. Automatic <laughs> rifles. <laughs> um, no, just just sort of small movements, not, not walking or anything like that. Uh, and only Nate and Munch can hear them, obviously, because you guys are talking to each other over here. Um, Munch? Um, are we are we in combat? Am I moving by squares or am I moving like freely? Uh, you can move where you want, but don't don't charge around. Yeah, no worries. Um, so I'm gonna move. I so I don't know if you can see me pinging, but I'm I'm taking it very easy, right? So I'm gonna move over here because it looks like there's another door. So stealthing it? Uh, yeah. I mean, not not like ninja stealthing it, but trying not to kick anything. Okay, so give me a stealth roll, plus yeah. one. Oh, wait, 
right, stealth. Uh, right, I didn't know if you'd program stealth in. Hold on. No, I don't. Uh, and you can give me one as well, um, Trojan. Uh, don't worry about it. Munch is just kicking boxes anyway. Yeah. Is he? <laughs> it's too dark around here, man. <laughs> Can't yeah. see anything. Uh, Munch walked down there with his light and then turned it off and then walked straight into a box. <laughs> yeah. Sneaking around with the flashlight. I'm a class act. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so you uh, know there's some sort of movement or some sort of um, creaking or shuffling down at this end of the thing. You can't see particularly where or what. Uh, in terms of you, much uh, these are doors. You just push them open. They're like plastic doors. Okay, like in a uh, supermarket. Yeah, you walk through, and then there's stuff on the shelves here. The stuff on the shelves has been ransacked. There's nothing useful here, but there are some crates here. Okay. All right. So, um, can I? Is it still um, my still my go? Uh, yeah, you'll meet up with um, Nate as he comes in there as well. So, right, Nate, you can move yourself in there as well. So is it worth scavenging? Is there anything here worth scavenging, or is it like it's all just crap? Uh, make a scavenging roll. Sure. Are you going to do the same, Nate, or are you? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll do the same. Cool. Okay, so Nate, Nate has a look in the bottom boxes. Munch, you're looking in the sort of left-hand boxes that are empty. Um, Nate has a look in the bottom boxes, um, and he finds a few carbine reins. Um, so seven carbine reins. So I'll give them to you. Don't worry. Um, Cool. Uh, what else you doing? You're trying to handle the boxes uh, quite quietly, I assume. Um, but the what's in the boxes? So someone's obviously, uh, by the looks of it, emptied the boxes, um, and the the carbine box um, shells are like remnants of what they haven't taken out. Uh, from the from the the stuff in there, it looks like a load of stuff was packed in there, and there's like newspaper, cardboard, and um, those um, things things that are packing stuff in there, like pa packing get, popcorn or something, right? Yeah, you f you get the feeling that there might have been other um, weapons or ammo in there as well, and okay. people have just left the these are things that have left sort of fallen sure. to the bottom that only by scrolling through everything you've managed to pick out. All right. So um, if there's nothing left in these boxes, I'm going to look around this corner. <coughs> okay. So give me a perception roll, please. Have you got your torch on or are you not? I, got no, your torch it's on? not on at the moment. Oh, I still okay. got a success though. Okay. Nate, where, what are you doing? Uh, Go down this corridor. Okay. So perception roll from you as well, mate. Cool. Okay. So both of you see um, a, a shadow. It's a very small shadow at the end of um, at the end of the shelves. Um, and it's it's dancing from one shelf to the other, so it's, it's clearly someone that's looking at both of you um, uh, down down the uh, corridor of of shelves from one side to the other, keeping an eye on both of you. Can, can I can I see Nate from where I am at the moment? Um, yeah, I mean you'll stick your head around one side or the other of these shelves here. Yeah, so I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll try and get his attention and point down there to let him know, you know, to make sure that we're both seeing something down there at the same time or both aware of whatever's going on. Yep. 
Uh, give me a uh, give me another perception now that you've spotted it, and on a plus two. Oh, I still failed. Yeah, that's bad because that should say failed. It does say failed. Okay, mine does not. Oh, I need to refresh mine. That'd be one. I made the changes. I haven't refreshed. Uh, well, that's good. Means everything's working. Yeah. But it looks like uh, Nate, is, he fine. was successful. Cool. Uh, so, um, yeah, how's Nate working? It says, okay. Uh, don't know what's up with Nate because it doesn't come up with a fail or not fail. Uh, regardless, um, yeah, Nate, you can see there's a little girl. Down there, which is why, um, and she's just shuffling, looking around. But you, you get the feeling she's not like cowering or frightening. She's watching you rather than, you know, running away from you. If that makes sense. Like curious more than anything. Uh, you can't tell that much, um, but she's definitely keeping tabs on where exactly both of you are. This isn't Newt from Alien, is it? Or Alien Two. <laughs> You don't know. She's um, she's black for a start. Okay. Not not new. Nate, what are you, what are you planning on doing? Like, I, I I mean, it doesn't like seem like she's going to run away from us. So it kind of makes sense that we kind of not trap her exactly, but head down and see if we can find her, or wait and get everyone here with us. What do you want to do? Are you pretending not to see her, or are you going to look directly at her? Oh, I didn't know that that was an option. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm yeah. gonna. I'm not gonna pretend. I'm not gonna see her. I'm gonna look at her, and I'm. I'm a. I'm a big friendly goof, right? So I'm gonna kind of smile and wave at her and see if I can kind of like almost disarm her or like charm her, you know? Okay. She looks at you as soon as she realizes she's got eye contact with you and she's busted. She looks directly at you, um, and it's a very cold look. Oh dear. Uh, so she's not responding as I wave to her then? No. So if you, if you wave to her, she will, um, she puts her hand in her dungarees, pulls out two fingers, pointing them at you and uses her, fun, uh, her thumb like a, uh, a hammer on a gun and goes, yeah. and she runs out of the front. All right, so I, I'm going to put on my um, flashlight. Because this is this is freaking me out a little bit at the moment. Oh, yeah, this just took a turn. Yeah, it did, didn't it? <laughs> and I'm gonna move down this way, like slowly. I'm not sure what Nate is doing, but I, I'd wait till I got to about here to figure out if I have any if if I have any backup, I guess. Okay, so Nate is there, um, and you can hear her scarpering, scarpering off. It's sort of, she went out the wall and took a right, and you can see that's out into the. Sort of more, uh, we, we, uh, we said this was really early morning, didn't we? Yeah, um, really, really early morning. So it's it's still dark outside at the moment. Uh, lights are off in the building, and yeah, so Nate is behind you. Um, the shelving is sort of blocking your torchlight, but yeah, the shelves are, uh, are largely empty until you get down to this end, and then um, you can see there's tons and tons of junk food like chocolate bars and crisps um or chips as you call them um, or yeah nothing everything that you can possibly find that doesn't have much nutritional value uh, but tastes really good um is on these shelves here and it was all that little girls right you don't know. Don't well, have presumably. A name on well, I, yeah. I want to. I'm, I'm going to make her suffer, so I plan on taking all of this, right? So, um, <laughs> if if I've got like a knapsack or whatever on me, I'm just going to shove all of this into my my knapsack or my backpack or whatever I've got, just to take all of it if I can carry it. Cool. So like, uh, you start. You can start filling your um, thing. So you can fit um, probably thirty bars in your. Um, thing a variety okay. of junk food 
Um, and so can, so can Nate if he if he wants to. There's there's absolutely stock stuff, tons of them, but they're not much nutritional. Sure. Um, value. Um, you also see this this chest here with the number two on it. If you want to try and um, open that. Uh, yeah. Let me go around there. I'm turning my flashlight off again. Um, Nate, do you, have, do you have any skills? I don't think I have any lockpick skills or anything. Let me just double check. Um, no, I don't have lockpicking or anything. Do you have anything that might... Uh, are you able to open this, Nate? Uh, no. Okay. Um, is, how, how, how locked is it or how hard is it to get into, Matt? Uh, it's got a padlock on it, uh, a proper padlock, um, and it's got a post-it note on it saying, Symphony, don't touch. Symphony, like like symphony orchestra. Yeah. All right. Do we do we have? Does anyone in the group that I know of have a, uh, um, a, 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 a you know crowbar or anything? Um, not that you know of. All right. I wonder if uh, symphony has remember. bittersweet chocolate. <laughs> is that is that a real thing? Oops. Bittersweet Ooh. symphony. Yeah. No. I don't know. I don't know what the, 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 it's so, Yeah. There's there's chocolate here. It's it's not symph uh it it's not specific to symphony. Um Symphony might be this girl's name. Given uh, given I've just put her breakpoint on the thing by accident, um you know that it is her name. Um <laughs> but yeah, padlock on uh this this cupboard here. And the shelves still have a bit of chalky bar and crisps on them if you, if somebody else wants to take a load. Um, Nate, if you want to take a load and put them in your backpack, just put them in your backpack and just put um, 30 chocolate bars slash, or put 30 times confectionery, probably the easiest. All right. Uh, you guys over here. So, do you want to make a medicine roll for me, please, um, Christopher? And you do it with your first aid kit. Click on your first aid kit. All right. Um, I have to go to the items and select that, or do I have to? Uh, you should be able to click it. yourself and then click on first aid kit. I think. Cool. Um, and first aid kit. Uh, did you just roll first aid? I just rolled first aid, yeah. Yeah, so click on yourself and then click uh, the first aid kit oh, button. Oh, yeah, I see it. Do it again. Do it again, because you, you did a success last time. There you go. So heal one wound, and we click on that guy. Okay, so you've, you've bumped him um, some... Um, uh, some health. Okay, so he's starting to stir this guy now. You feel like you've got him to a point where, you know, he's not walking around anywhere anytime soon, but yeah, um, he's, he's certainly not going to bleed out now. Um, so Daryl and Spencer are sort of free to do uh, other stuff, and so are you if you want to move around. Uh, you can hear some clumping and thumping um, in the other room, but nobody said anything as far as I know. I guess they're not in too much trouble over there. Not if we're clumping and thumping, I think, with the words. <laughs> well, you, your, your, um, your stealth roll was definitely clumping oh, and thumping. Oh, you're right, mate. You're right. No argument. Yeah. Uh, Spencer uh, takes a look at the guy. He, he, he nudges the bo sort of body with his uh, toe, and he says, um, so how long before he's on his feet to Christopher? And Christopher thinks, but it's, it's not going anywhere for, for quite a while. I don't know. Why don't you ask the two gunshot wounds you put into him? I thought people had forgotten about that. <laughs> and Spencer says, uh, yeah, well, you know, all's fair in love and war. Yeah, I'm going to stay here with him. Why don't you go find something useful to do at the time? Uh, he feels a bit joked about and uh, annoyed so he'll he'll wander off um he'll definitely put the boot in uh actually he'll um he looks at the dead body 
um, and there's an axe on it. He takes the axe. Um, Spencer will take the axe um, and rifle the body, see what else is on it. Uh, Daryl, what are you doing? Um, I'm thinking I might go back out front here where the uh, spray paint was. You don't mind if I can, I don't know how far I can move before someone else gets an action. Uh, it's quite a way, so you'll be doing that for a little bit. Yep. All right. Right there. Yep. Cool. All right. Uh, so, yeah, you'll see Spencer start rifling the body um, and you see him come up with some uh, candy bar and um, uh, he's got the axe and now he's rifling through the pockets. Uh, so you two with this box, what are you doing? <clears throat> um, I'm going to put my flashlight on again. Is there anywhere around us that has like a crowbar? Is there any like tools or anything here I can use to break this open? Uh, do a... where. Okay, so uh, where are you searching? Just around in this room? Yeah, yeah. I was just like that, that like little, the way area that I just walked through. It was just kind of like anywhere around here, just seeing if there's anything close, you know, obvious out on the shelf or something. Give me a perception roll. Actually, no, just do a scavenging roll because we'll, we'll see how good your scavenging is. All right. Um, scavenging. If you get a good one, uh, you'll... You can figure out. No. 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 Okay. Um, no, nothing's sort of coming to light. You, you, you uh, above all people, are just looking at all the chocolate and confectionery thinking, yeah, this yeah. was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Got stacks. All right. So I, I, do, I, I mean, I can't think of another way. Let me just check my equipment. Um, I have a tactical baton, but I don't think, or a baton, but I don't think that's going to break open uh, a case and a, a padlock. So, Nate, what, what, you got any thoughts? Do you want to do you want to move on, or do you have a way of getting this open? I do. To which? To what? To moving on, or uh, an idea as to getting into the box. I, I have an idea. What is it? Yep. It's called a light pistol. <laughs> okay. Yep. Cool. Uh, it's oh, you know the Pringles. So take a shot. Uh, just shoot at yourself. Uh, uh, want of anything better? Uh, actually, shoot at the dead guy. Yeah, just use that to shoot at. Okay, cool. Uh, so you shoot at the lock. Um, are there any rules for destroying things, Tony, or not? Uh, no. Okay, in which case I will say uh, that's a pretty decent uh, uh, hit. The, um, the lock snaps off. And you can get into the, um, it's really hot when you try and take it off. Um, but, uh, yeah, you just pull it away from the, um, sorry, the shot you do smashes into the wood part of the frame. You pull open the, uh, last and you can lift open the doors. Um, and inside it, you find a, uh, carbine. Oh, you're lucky day, Nate. Little girl had a carbine. She's more dangerous than I was given her credit for. <laughs> no, she's clearly not allowed it. But... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put the uh, carbine in your... Uh, can you... Are you looking at the carbine first, or are you checking out how many loads it's got in it? Or... That's tonight, right? Yeah. Could just take it. Cool. Um. Hmm. Uh, all right. Come on. Mint. 
It's not working. Okay, I'll give it to you. Okay, uh, Nate just puts it. Uh, on, are you holding it, or are you, are you sorry? Are you going to use it, or are you um, just using your pistol still? Just use my pistol still. Cool. Okay, so Nate picks out the carbine from the um, um, from the trunk, and you guys are free to um, move around. Um, Spencer is going with Daryl after um, Christopher whispered something, and Daryl, you're heading up north. Yeah. Why don't uh, you? Uh, how far can I go? Uh, Spencer will follow you. You can go back up to the wherever you want to go. Up, up to the spray paint. I want to look around for that can of spray paint. So hopefully, whoever wrote that maybe just tossed it off to the side or something. Uh, I tell you what, I'll give you a 50 50 chance that they did that. Uh, whoops. Uh, I tell you what, uh, I'll roll that again. Uh, one to three is they left it. Uh, four, five, six, they took it with them. Uh, whoops. Oh. Uh, no, they took it with them. Sorry. No paint. No paint. Uh, there's plenty of blood that you can use to uh, write with if you... Well, I don't know if that would, would match. <laughs> it might. Uh, Spencer asks, what, what are you doing? Well, since it was fresh paint, I thought maybe uh, whoever the message is for hasn't seen it yet, and I was going to write, don't. Yeah, not a bad idea. Yeah. Um, it looks like, yeah. Uh, Spencer looks over here, and he says um, he gets the feeling that they may have already read it and be at the speedway for or we know. These look like tire tracks and donuts. Hmm. All right. Snack time. Yeah, not that he knows, but. <laughs> Okay, uh, so they've gone up and down and come back in the wall. Uh, you guys have got that open and shut. Uh, you'll have a little bit more time uh, to do whatever you want. What do you want to know? Is that to me and Nate? Yeah, sorry. So I, I'm going to walk down here at the end. Um, what, what can I see on the other side? Or what's through this door as far as I can make out? Um, so you see another um, uh, wire mesh um, thing um, that you assume is on as well on yep. the other side of the uh, factory, um, enclosing you in. And uh, if you stick your head out on this side, you'll see um, a, a road that comes around the other side of the factory. Okay. Um, and if you are you really sticking your head out? Not really, just more kind of looking around, just trying to see whether, I, I, I mean, we don't trust anyone in this world, so I'm just trying to keep my eye on that little girl who might turn out to be a cannibal and have a big fucking machete or something. Yeah, so you can't hear her at the moment. Okay. Um, uh, but if you poke your, if you poke your head out, you can just see uh, down here. Um, so it opens up into a bigger area here. You don't, uh, you don't know what. Okay. Um, and down here, it just goes around the back of the factory, you think, and there's another fence that's wow. going around okay, the back. Big area. Okay. All right. So um, <laughs> I, I'm going to try and get back with the rest of the group, right? Munch isn't really a hero, so there's nothing here for me to see. I've already found a bunch of chocolate and shit, so I'm going to head back over to where I last saw the group. Okay. Uh, so Daryl's come in that side. Yep. Okay. And uh, Christopher will, um, Spencer will go back and ask how Christopher's getting on and how the how the guy's getting on. Um, Spencer says he's got a bad feeling about this place, um, and uh, especially with this psycho um, here. Um, he's um, he doesn't have any weapons. It seems weird that you know. There's no, um, that he's only, well, that he's only got an axe, which kind of makes the guy totally crazy. Yeah. Um, but he can't, well, we don't know if there's anyone else in here. 
and Spencer and Daryl don't even know about the girl yet. Are we talking about it or are we just not? Are we back together now, all together in the same place? Yeah, and Nate, would you come back to the other guys as well? Did you guys check yeah. down this hallway? Yeah, so I, I would tell them what I've seen. I'd be all kind of like, guys, like we just found a bunch of chocolate. I'd show them my knapsack. There was a little girl back there. There's a crate. I couldn't get it open. Nate's crazy. He fired his gun. I was so close. Like I'd be all excited and babbly and catching them up to date on what we just saw. Okay. Um, and Spencer will look and say, um, nice carbine, he says. Am I able to hear this being on the other side of the wall? Yep. I don't think anyone's holding their voice. Where is she? Yeah, where, where's the kid? Where's the kid? Oh, I would point. Sorry, I wasn't sure what you said there. So I would point to where she was and I'd say, and hey, the, 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 the crate we found that in had her name on it, right? So we think we know who she is. And she's obviously been settled out, but she ran out through that door. I don't know where she went. Why not? Because she got away from me quicker and I'm a little bit overweight. I, so me getting to that door took me longer than I wanted to. Okay, I've realized I've I've realized what you guys have assessed this to, or Tony in particular. So the 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 post-it note says is all one sentence, not not a person's name and uh, a statement. And what did it say on it? <laughs> it says symphony keep out uh, as in not symphonies keep yeah. out i'd forgotten okay. to keep out part of it well months is still yeah. so overexcited that he's still telling them this great story <laughs> okay uh so yeah we're so you're thinking that yeah so you get the impression that she's being told to keep out of the locker and not yeah, it's I, her lookout and everybody else should keep out. It right. would change. So I'd forgotten that detail as like in the real world. So I'd let them know about the little girl, but I'd also let them know, and hey, someone was keeping that gun away from her, which kind of implies there's a bigger person or an adult presence here. Yeah. Okay, so well, I'd be off before or after she ran away from you. So I'm again, really annoyed. Well, he's either with the killer or the kill E. Yeah. Uh, so in the room. Which door did she go through? Yeah, we, where's the here? kid? Do we know if there's I'll anybody see. else here as well? Says Christopher. If there's a kid here, what's the chances that there's more people? Yeah, it was that crazy mother Well, especially if they've got a keep out note. Sorry, John, I didn't mean to talk over you, but if they've got a keep out note on one of the boxes, the kid hasn't done that to themselves, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I got a bad feeling about this, Spencer. It wasn't black, so I could actually see it in the dark. Which way did she go up here? Or she go over this way? Munch. Uh, she went over that way. Hey, my dogs are losing their mind. Give me one second. I'll come right back. Yeah. Okay. Munch, Munch is said down here. Okay. Nice. Dropping like flies. Yeah, that was good. Uh, okay. So, yeah. I think you're officially the dad of the group, Christopher, so... Nice. <clears throat> um, was uh, was the uh, victim guy over here? He was stabilized, but was he start? He wasn't quite awake yet. He he's moaning and groaning, but he's not he's not compass manners. So you can right. you feel like you can you feel like you can move him now, if if people can carry him on something. So right, but um, you'll you'll need to come up with some sort of makeshift thing. Is there like a table? Well. Well, I'm back. How Who confident are am I he's gonna? How how confident am I he's gonna live? Oh, you're pretty confident he'll live. Okay. Um, I'm gonna ask for someone to come help me and probably try to talk to him, get him somewhere. <laughs> you get the feeling. To him, I guess. You get the feeling he's dehydrated and sort of deranged. He he looks. He, 
uh, give me a uh, first aid roll. Just plain first aid. Yeah. Okay. You, he he's got loads of cuts and loads of bruises and stuff. This guy has been torturing him for a while, but you. He, he's moaning and groaning and not giving you any. He's not paying you any attention, if that makes sense. Okay. So, uh, so you you feel like you're not getting anything out of him anytime soon, but you can't estimate really with so many things, so many bruises and cuts, etc. You don't know how much blood he's lost or whatever. You just know that you've stabilized him for the moment, but he could do with being sort of out of this situation so you could uh, nurse him for a bit better. Right. Um, if I don't have any painkiller on me, I think I might go out to the cart and see if I can get some. Okay. I just have first aid kit. I don't know what you're having qualify as being in the first aid kit. Uh, they'll, it'll have enough in there if you go get that. Um, if I go get it? Okay. Yeah. Spencer will um, say you're not going out there without, you yeah. know, Somebody taking me along. Yep. Um, okay, so you will head up there. Uh, Daryl, can you give me? Uh, oh, is he back? Yeah. Yep. Uh, can you give me a uh, perception check, please? Sure. Perception. Uh, you can see um, a girl hiding not very well up here. Uh, who's who's closest to me right now? Uh, Nate is. Psst. Or the dead body of the psycho is actually. Psst. I see her. Psst. Where? And, and I point real obviously. <laughs> 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 as soon as you point, obviously she disappears out of sight. Oh, there she goes. Can you ping on the screen and show me where you saw her? Is that tab? Yeah. There you go. Oh, okay, all the way down there. All right, cool. Thank you. All good. What you up to? I. I'm going to come back into this room where Daryl was. I, yep. By the way, this is a doorway or a passageway right here where I'm pinging. Yeah. All right. So, Just yeah, I, I'll walk through to be – this is Daryl here, right, that I'm pinging now? Correct. Yeah, so I'm going to walk in. I'm going to – you know, hey, Daryl, how are you? Like, like I, I'm kind of catching up with him. Cool. Yeah, it's hard down there. Have you tried talking to her? She ran away. I waved at her and I drove her. I gave her my friendly smile, but she she ran away. Story of my life with women. <laughs> All right. Can I just yell? I'll go. Hey, little girl, we're friendly. Just just to try it. Um, are you looking down the corridor still? Yeah. You see a um, a hand with uh, uh, giving you the bird around the corner. Oh. She's not friendly. Uh, feisty one. <laughs> oh, that's not her. I'm starting to think she might be with the X Men instead of the guy in the chain. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Munch, give me a um, just give me a perception roll again. Actually, uh, I tell you what. Um, let me do this. Does this work? Good. Um, whoops. Uh, when when you made eye contact with her. Munch? Yeah. Uh, that's the feeling you got. Can you see the gut check? Uh, no, nothing came up for me. Um, Do you want to screenshot it, it and put it in, in uh, Discord? Yeah. 
Okay, so there's a bug there. I've got to fix it. Um, do that. Um, everything goes slow when you don't want it to. Know. What the heck's going Dude, on? Dude, story of my life working on I, I guess wanna... nothing to do and the internet works great, but the moment my boss calls and I need to look at something, everything <laughs> yeah, has to crap right. and it runs as slow yeah. as possible. Yeah. yeah. Someone pulls out the tree kill and throws it all around my computer. Yeah. Okay, well, this will take a while. Uh, you, you're in the orange uh, to red. I'm, I'm just going to say with your gut check on her is, is, is how you're feeling to her. Dangerous, feral little girl. Um, yeah, the, when you looked at it, she, she literally looked you, stared you out in the eyes. She did not care. Um, and, yeah, you get a feeling that that's her, <laughs> definitely her finger coming around the wall. All right, so um, I'm going to look back at Daryl and kind of gulp a little bit, like, almost like comedically. Like, yeah, I, I don't really know what to do. Like, this little girl's flipping me off. I don't have a lot of experience with little girls. <laughs> well, yeah. I feel bad leaving her here, but I uh, also don't want to drag her out of here kicking and screaming. Down, down the corridor, you can hear. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Okay, she's with the killer. Yeah. <laughs> and it, that was her, right? Presumably, like, or it sounded like a little girl's voice, correct? Yeah, it sounds like a little girl's voice. Okay, because that would have been even scarier. <laughs> yeah, it sort of echoes around the cold, hard corridors. All right, guys, you ready to head home? I am. Yeah. Yeah, but she might have something worth stealing. Um yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm chocolate. Yeah, fat bastard. Oh yeah, true, true. I've already got enough of that. You're right. All right, I, I, I'm with you. If you want to head out of here, I don't have the appetite to fight little girls, especially. especially... Yeah, I double that. If if you start heading back out of this door, she'll she'll start saying, "Where are you going? Do you want to be my dad?" I double, double time. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sweetheart. I've got an appointment with your mother and she doesn't like it when I keep her late, you know? Okay. So As you go, go she's, she's, she seems to be scuttling to follow you guys. Don't go. My dad wants to meet you. Oh, dear. So I assume this would be a good timing for me and Spencer to start walking back with stuff. Yeah. yeah. And it was kind of a bad time for me to make mum jokes if her dad's there. So, <laughs> all right. So uh, I, I, I'm going to move. I don't know where where Daryl went, but I, I'm going to move back over here to the kind of the way we came in, because I wouldn't say it feels safe because of all the blood in this room. But at least I know what's going on. Yeah. Um, so much as you go out, you remember there are some um, uh, crates here. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't want to go back in by myself. So I'm going to ask who's closest to me, Nate and Daryl. I'm going to ask them if they'll come back in. I saw some stuff I want to check back out, but I, I don't want to go back in on my own. Not if her dad's around. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right, thank you. All right, so uh, I, do we, what, these crates, kind of like the other ones, do we need anything to open them up? Uh, so they're not locked up. They're sort of, um, they've got a loose top on them. So you open up and sure enough, you you now find, make a reason check for me. It's a gizmo. Okay. Is, is anybody else looking at the contents of the... I'll, I'll take a peek over your shoulder. Okay. So make a re uh, reason for uh, check for me. Uh, you can have a plus one actually. Is this a, a uh, okay? Just just the stat roll. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And you say with a plus one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let me do this. Uh, that's not a gizmo. Gizmo. That's a, a gimbal. Uh, oh, what should I call it? <laughs> It's a widget. <laughs> yeah, that's the word I was looking for, a widget. <laughs> what? 
Do you see that in your chat? Yeah. Uh, actually, hold on. Um, I know you don't say the same oh. words as I do, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's, the co it's the contents of what you would find from that. Like the gas pump itself? No. Uh, so off the, if you walked into a, um, a, a station, it would be what was on the shelves. Someone's clearly just gone and emptied everything off the shelves. Oh, like, like the snacks and everything and... Yeah, so the snack, snacks have obviously been put down here. Um, and what's in these boxes is whatever was hurried off the shelves in there. So if you can think of something that you're looking for, you can rifle through them to try and find that specific thing if you want it. But a really high quality Zippo lighter. Uh, yep, go for it. Thanks, right. scavenging roll. And if you tell Munch what's in there, he can make a scavenging roll as well. Oh, that's the yeah. stuff off a gas station shelf. Man, Munch is having no luck today. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. So, so it looks like these are the contents. Of, they've, they've, they've raided a uh, petrol station, and uh, these are the contents off the shelf. Daryl has rifled through and found exactly what he wanted, a uh, Zippo lighter specifically. Um, and Munch is like, oh, there's just so much crap in here. I don't know what to take. Um, so Spencer says to Christopher, okay, I, uh, I know you're going to want to move the guy. Um, are, we, are, we, are, we, are we taking him with us? Uh, I was gonna say I was gonna patch him up and see what's going on here. Is he safe to move? Is he? Yeah. Well, that's. What Is I'm he worthy sure of the first. medicine? Yeah. He, you, if you can get him on some sort of stretcher um, or something, you feel like you can move him, but he's not gonna move on his own. He's certainly worth the information. Probably worth moving. We'll find out. Maybe I can encourage him to walk it off. <laughs> Any luck with the girl <laughs> as I'm walking in trying to go past? No. Nope. Uh, Spencer, go in there first. And Munch says no. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh, what's that? Dad, Dad's going to be so happy that you're here. They're going to be back. Voice. All I can think about is Dr. Roxo from Metalocalypse. I don't know that reference. I don't. Uh, I, hoping, I, I was hoping somebody would. <laughs> so, I don't get it either. Who was it? Doctor Roxo from Metalocalypse. No. <laughs> no, you're on your own there. Sorry, buddy. Uh, <laughs> anyway. just about four or five. All right. What the hell was that noise? Don't tell me that was a little girl. They'll be back soon. Sure. Sure. All right. I feel like we should. No, I was going to say I feel like we should we should kill her before her father gets back, and then I realized what I was saying, and that's when I came. Like, no, no, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, but that fits with the irrationality of your character at the moment. It kind of does, right? And it, it also fits with the world. Like she's scaring me because she's like it feels like an implied threat, right? So, I but I caught myself in my senses. I feel like I'm reaching my breaking point there. You might. Actually, yeah, I was going to say, just just on that, given you made that perfect eye contact with her, I'm giving you um, another break point at that point. Oh, thank you. Um, I know it's going back in time a bit, but... Uh, that's fine. Um, it took a few seconds to sink in. Yeah, um, and the fact that you just had that 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 moment of thought is... Uh, <laughs> is, is uh, yeah. Is, yeah, let's blame that, that on my character. Let's not blame that on Tony. Let's blame that on Mud. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally good with that. Spencer looks around at the dock. Uh, this guy is sort of coming to a little, um, and he looks at you, and he looks absolutely petrified. And me? Uh, sorry, uh, Christopher. Yeah, yeah okay. he's, he's um, coming too. 
um, and he's looking at you, and he looks absolutely petrified. He's not saying any words that are useful. Petrified at me. All right, well, some reassuring things that I'm here to help. I'm the one that just saved his life. It's okay, bro. He looks down and sees that he's bandaged. And he just goes... <laughs> We you got to get out, of, get out of here. Just save yourself, he says. Oh, dear. Uh, why? What's going What? How did you get here? What's going on? I was, at a, I, I was hiding out of the petrol station, station, and they, they got me. Been here, I don't know how many days. Uh, uh, my wife's already dead. My wife's already dead. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut him off and give him the water. Here, get some of this in you. You clearly need it. Okay. He coughs and splits, and you realize, um, having failed your first aid roll before, he's totally dehydrated, um, and yeah, he starts woofing into it, um, and you take it away from him because you realize if he takes too much, then it'll be bad for him. Um, so yeah, he's he he seems relatively deranged. He, he tells you that um, he's been there for at least two days that he knows of, but he's passed in and out of consciousness. Um, they've there's been several guys that have had goes uh, um, torturing him, but always managing to not kill him, as it were. Um, and his his wife has died already. They um, they killed her at the petrol station, but they took him. I'm going to ask him about the little girl. Is that any relation to him? Um, he, he says he hasn't seen a girl. He hasn't seen a girl. Oh. All right. Um, if he's in an immense amount of pain, I'll give him the morphine shot. Okay. Or the painkiller. No, he tells you that there are, there are lots of them. Lots of guys in the station here? Yeah. All right. Um, are you he able to? Yeah. Yeah. He, he asks if you've killed them all. Uh, the guy at the end of the room here. Does he look like somebody you recognize? Yeah, that bastard. There's, 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 there's at least two of those bastards that wear those stupid masks. Um, was he wearing a mask? I'm gonna yeah, call him Spencer he's, over. He's wearing like a hockey mask. I'm calling Spencer over so we can get in on this conversation. You know that as soon as Spencer starts hearing this, you're leaving. I do. And so, and okay. I'm not going to disagree. You, okay, and you're still calling him over. Yeah, okay, cool. You you know what he's going to say. Spencer's like, <laughs> right, we're leaving him here and we're getting the hell out of here. Oh, so he said the wife killed at the petrol station. Was he the only one there, him and his wife? Uh, yeah. He and his wife had um, found the petrol station. They thought their luck was in. They had loads of stuff in the petrol station. It was out in the, out in the sticks uh, south of here. And, um, yeah, they, they, they lucked out completely. Um, and then these hoons came in. Uh, but they came in from sort of um, in multiple, multiple cars, and they couldn't get away. His wife was hiding, but they ended up finding her. He tried to make a break for it, and, yeah, he's ended up here. Okay, so that explains the crates. Um, so there's nothing we're trying to go to that station for. Uh, what else can you tell us about these guys that are here? Just that they just ransacked you. If, if this is the only guy that you've you've seen, we need to get out of here. What's this we shit? Leave him here and run. Um, please, please don't leave me, he says. <coughs> Spencer, Spencer, Spencer is already... Like grabbing one foot out the door. Yeah, grabbing items and sort of tugging your shoulder. Yeah, I'm ready to go too. This this is getting kind of scary the way that he's doing it. So I'm ready to leave. Spencer, Spencer says, "Turn the fucking light off." Well, I guess unless uh, anybody's going to help me, I guess you're half-heartedly directing me away and leaving him. I'll need at um, least a half-hearted arm twisting. If you don't, if you don't demand that he's got to come, then Spencer will. I've, I've got the sense room. that I'm being outvoted, regardless. Well, I mean, you, you've always done what you want in the past, so it's entirely up to you. Uh, it, in this relationship, 
Spencer goes off of what you say regardless, but he will be overprotective, um, but, you know, get sucked into whatever you want to do in the end. Okay, then I'll... Um... If that's the case, I'm going to guilt Spencer if he's not going to, if he's going to protest and helping him, help me get him out, I'm going to guilt him with the gunshot wounds to get him to help me get him out. Yeah, okay. So you 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 would know that um, given your past relationship with Spencer going around helping people, that he will just troll around with you anyway. So if, if you demand that you've got to save this guy, then, you know, he'll do that with you, but he'll do it fast. So... Um, so Spencer shouts at Munch and Nate, um, or shouts in a whisper, uh, "Go get the, um, go get those boxes! Hurry up!" <clears throat> Was that to me? Yeah, you and Nate. The, these boxes here, right? Yeah. All right, so Nate, yeah. let's r let's run and grab them as quickly as we can and get them out. I, I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. Cool. Um, and you bring him around to him. He um, he sticks him. Come, come. He he looks at Christopher and he just says, "If we lie him on top of this, can we just take him out in one of these?" And you think he, it's not going to hurt him any more than he's already hurt. Already. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So um, yeah, he, he's not going anywhere on his own. So you stick him on the uh, top of the crate boxes and um, on the on the lids. And you use the lids as like a gurney for him. Um, it'll take it'll take four of you because it's really unorthodox um, to get him out. But you can lob him on the cart when you get up the top. Uh, is there no? Can we bring the cart down to this? Uh, yep, yep, Daryl. If you yeah, came down, you could bring the cart down, and that'd, um, that'd be easy to run. Yeah, toss me the keys. <laughs> Uh, there are no keys, so you can just All right. charge them in. Uh, the bad news is, as soon as you do that, it stops charging. So it's like 70% charged now. Oh, good. Uh, this guy's going to lose a health in being moved, but you feel like you can't really do much about it. Yes. So Roll20 did something weird last week where um, you... you kind of change the bubbles and they do something really weird. We've just put random numbers in seemingly. Um, but if you double do it, it, it works. Um, I had it in my dread game last week. Uh, right, so Daryl's bringing it down. Yeah, he'd lose another health if you were taking him, but you're not, because uh, you'll bring the cart down and then put him on the, put him on the cart. So this guy, oh, whoops, if we bring the cart down, We'll put the guy on the cart. There you go. Um, I'm not sure if I group them together or where. Uh, so this guy's on the cart now. I'll just move him over there. Uh, what's everybody done? <coughs> I'm, I'm still, are we moving all the boxes out or are they all outside now? Uh, sorry, we, he just, uh, Spencer just wanted the boxes for the tops uh, so that you could oh. use them as a gurney to get the body out oh, on top okay. of the cart. And now you've got the cart down there. Uh, Christopher, you'll see it's on 70%. Um, Spencer's there. They'll check the body on. And Spencer says, uh, are you two coming or are you staying here? Uh, that's to Munch and Nate. Oh. Okay, we're coming. <laughs> yep. Leaving? Okay. So you... Trump off um, here. Daryl, you know that if you take a right, obviously that's that's back out to the main highway and the raceway. Um, so it's starting, you, you can see the, you know how um, in the early morning you just get a, there's like a, a couple of degrees um, warmer. It's, it's still dark, but it's a couple of degrees warmer. Um, and you feel like it's, um, it's, it's, it's coming to sort of daybreak soon. Um, you can hear the girl as she um, watches um, the body get taken out. Um, and she says, um, I'm going to tell my daddy on you. I'm going to tell my daddy. <laughs> is it still as foggy out as it was? Or is it starting to clear up? Uh, it'll be clear tonight now uh, for the morning. 
Okay. So it's not like we're able to sneak away in the fog. No, it's going to be, yeah, yeah, a little harder. No, the one thing I don't remember is, like, we had talked about going to the Tesla station in hopes of getting it charged, but I don't remember what we had discussed as far as what our plan was after that. So, uh, essentially, um, I'm just taking it to the map. Um, oops. As I know we talked Spencer out of getting out of our loop. Yeah, so the loop is up here um, and the vet station um, obviously here. Um, you have made it down to the Tesla station here. You wanted to repair the um, uh, the oh, box, charger. the charger, yeah, but you haven't done that. So you know it's got, uh, you know it's got a full day in it for moving, but it's only 70% charged. So you, it goes for like a day and a half, you know, just continuous driving. Um, but you would normally drive and charge at the same time, which you can't do now. So, right. yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, um, it's gonna die in a day and a half's time, essentially, unless you can find something um, else. Um, and with that in mind. But is that the only thing we had decided was we were going to the Tesla plant? We weren't thinking about like any specific location hitting Tesla on the way. Uh, yeah, you were looking at um, just getting uh, the cart fixed at the Tesla station, but you haven't found anything and you don't really want to stay there at the moment. Because I know a couple of the guys were doing convincing, but we hadn't gotten quite that far yet. They had talked me into it. It was just a matter of winning Spencer, right? Yeah. Um, so while we're trying to move, I suppose we're asking this NPC where the gas station was, like what direction, just for reference. Uh, so he says, he says down here. Down there. Uh, whoops, it's down here, there. That one marker, okay. Yeah, that marker there. That was the that was one of the locations we had talked about previously, or you just stuck that on there? Uh, no, that is one of the places that were uh, Daryl knew where it was before. Okay. Say in the middle of nowhere. You discussed going there, but the Tesla station was way closer. Okay. Um, is there anything else useful that was there, or does it? Well, he wouldn't know. They probably just knocked his ass out and stole everything. Oh. Uh, yeah, he doesn't know. He he thanks you for um, helping him out. He just says, make sure they can't follow us. Do you think there was anything of use there mechanically that we could use, or was it just basically supplies? Uh, it's just a gas station, he says. What do you need? Okay. Eh, sometimes they have garages hooked up to them. I was just curious. Oh, he says, um, are you looking for something that repairs that? Um, if you point at that, then um, he'll say, yeah, nah, we we have like mufflers and things like that, but nothing that would um, fix any electronics, complicated electronics. Okay. Um, is he familiar with the area? Um, yeah, he knows a little. Does he think of any tech spot that he might know of that would be useful? Uh, yeah, can you give him a, can you charm him? Uh, sorry, I will, yeah, uh, see your characters on the left of the map? Yep, I just have to scroll over. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, um, where is he? Just get him, oh, you don't need him, just uh, roll a charm. Oh, I clicked on charm and I said, who am I charming? Uh, just click on yourself for a moment. Oh, here, I'll uh, One second. There Is there an opposing stat to charm? Uh, yeah, it's on an opposing one. If, if he doesn't like you, it will remember the relationship between you. We haven't gotcha. done a relationship between you, but... It didn't matter. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he he's he, you get the feeling he's totally indebted to you for saving his life. Um, and uh, yeah, I would have given you a plus C mod anyway for that. So, um, yeah, he starts telling you around the place, 
Um, his garage was here. Um, they've already been in this area for um, a little while. They were coming north. Um, they'd, they'd left the city some time ago um, and um, supplies were running low. They thought their luck was in when they hit the um, gas station in the middle of nowhere. Um, uh, and it had loads of loads of stuff. They'd, they'd worked their way through like tins of beans and stuff that were edible. Um, and there were just the confectionery garbage stuff sort of left um, in there. So there won't be anything there. Um, he says um, he hasn't been over here, but he could see lights in this direction in the, the township over here. Um, so they were plucking up courage to sort of walk over there um, eventually and see if they could um, find anything over there next. But uh, these guys from here rolled, rolled in. He, he recognizes the, that he's in the Tesla station only when you take him out of it. So he had obviously been sort of beaten to a pulp before he went in there. And I forgot, did Munch say he knew where the speedway was? Is that what the W up here was? Or, uh, or general uh, direction? General speed. direction, yeah, but I don't think I knew where it was, did I? No, you just know it's on near the highway, so it's yeah. somewhere up here on the highway. Does he know anything about the speedway and the message out front? Me? No, um, no, no uh, not you. I'm sorry, the, sorry. the new guy. He keep he heard lots uh, about the. They keep coming. They keep charging up, and they keep going back to the speedway. So they've crashed a bunch of a whole bunch of cars, um, but they they just keep talking about you know who's the fastest all the time. All that macho need for speed um, bullshit. He says. Okay. So it doesn't sound like any reason that we need to go there. Unless we want to be risky, risky. That looks so. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? think? He says, please don't go to the speedway, you'll die. This is <laughs> no problem. And please get me out of here. Should we take him with us? Let's tie him up and take him with us and just see his brain melt. <laughs> Speedway. I think he's, I, he keeps saying Speedway. I think that's where he wants to go. Okay. He's got another break point. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like this is going to be like a day and a half, two days to get into town here. That's yeah. It'll be, it'll be a good day to get there. Um, day, day and a quarter to get onto the outside skirts if you were heading to Livermore or okay. Ulmer. Is that something we want to do, guys? I think so. Yeah, I wanted. I'm, I, you know, Munch wants to sail back this way, like towards the uh, the, the coast. <clears throat> so anything that's kind of getting me in that direction, I'm good with. I hope Silver. Tavis says, uh, um, Spencer says, <coughs> whatever we do, we got to hide our tracks. He says, oh, of course. That and I'm bleeding any everywhere. Oh, the guy. <laughs> He's not dripping blood as we're carting him around, right? Uh, yeah, Spencer's bleeding. Oh, Spencer's a, bleeding. Oh. Yeah, from a bullet shot wound. How bad is it? I forgot about that. Did I put that in him? I put that in him, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. So there's a bullet, in the back right. of, bullet in the back of his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably Spencer's fault for trying to shoot at the guy and missing so horrendously and then got in the way of Munch's shot behind him. All right, um, I guess I'll put a temporary patch on that and when we get a ways down the road, I'll address trying to see if I can do anything for it since we need to get out of Amptyville here. Cool. So it's it's coming up bright morning, yeah? So yeah. what do you want to do? You The the guy will say um, as soon as they're, uh, they've run out of car batteries, then they'll be back and then they'll charge up and they'll... Yeah, you know, beat the crap out of me, but then they'll go loopy because they won't find me and they'll find their dead friend. Um, and then they'll come looking for us. All right. Well, if, if the speedway is up this way, I would suggest, unfortunately, taking a slightly longer route to go up to cover our tracks from the little girl and heading west. 
Because I feel like taking the road directly is just going to be asking for trouble if she's watching us, which I assume she is. It's still, it's, it's getting to dust, but if you hightail it out, you'll go into darkness right now. But if you, you'll need to hightail it, you won't, you won't be able to, yeah, just stroll about. Maybe we could take the direct route then. Just want to take a, oh wait, just want this route down here. Uh, Spencer's up. Maybe uh, Spencer says, maybe what if we stop here and hide? Yeah, then I can treat your wound. Actually, Spencer says, when you when you, uh, what if we make some sort of um, some tracks to make it look like we're going back up north, up here, and then we sure. scoot down here? Sure. It'll make us a bit slower going to high tracks, but at least it might put them on the wrong thing. Yeah. And then we can hide out here and... That sound good? Yep. Yep. Everyone happy with it? Yep. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. So we will enter... Uh, so, um, survival. Um, so I would suggest everybody do a group survival check to try and hide tracks and make some new tracks. Okay? Does that make sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to say um, the group will split into two, one hiding the new tracks and one creating the other tracks. Spencer says he'll help with creating the new tracks uh, to go north. Who's going to help Spencer? Are you doing new tracks? I'll do the hiding. Okay, so hiding. Oh, let's do that. Hiding and what's saying? Munch, which are you doing? Um, I, I, I'm gonna. I, I'll help hide the tracks. Okay, hiding. Uh, Trojan. Creating. Creating, and yeah. Daryl. Uh, I'm I'm pretty good at this. Which one do we need mostly? I'm Absolutely. pretty sure. Uh, yeah. You reckon hide or forcing them to go north? Um, you know what? I think if it, yeah, maybe making new ones because if it looks fresher versus. Yeah. Okay. So look, people are wandering around. I'll do that, and I don't know. Does it matter who is the initial, or does it all kind of pull together when you do a group thing? Uh, it'll be a, a pull together. So um, Nate, Daryl, and Spencer all hit the uh, group check for me. All and right. then, uh, and then Daryl, if you're good, you do the um, the survival. roll for it. Yeah, survival. Looks like Spencer might be there. Um, oh, you know what? I'm in that too. Hang on, let me cancel because I started check. And I wait. I thought. I thought. You're I thought in, if you're I in did, oh, yeah. I, I'm in yeah. there as well. Let me come out of it. I, I already had the. I thought check. by. I thought by not committing to it with the C mod that it would keep me out of it, but I guess not. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Try to get on my out as well. All right. Uh, so just hit again. Well, at least we know that works, which is good. yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, and then roll the group check for me. Cool, 13. So, yeah, so that's really good. So you you come away from that having made some solid lines in there that sort of match the um, tires of the cut. And it's far enough away here that it was in the darkness. So if the girl was watching, unless she's followed you, followed you, uh, and you can't see her, uh, that um, you, you've got some, um, some good solid sort of tracks in there. Um, and you, you peter them out up here somewhere-ish, um, and then you guys are going to hightail it across country to go south as the other guys are hiding their tracks um, to go down here. So let's see the other two hide their downward tracks. <clears throat> so that's... Uh... Uh, so that'll be Munch and Christopher. All right, and that's a, sur <clears throat> Excuse me, a survival check again, right? Yeah, I think so. 
And that doesn't look right. Uh, just... You can't roll a nor. Can you? Do it again for me. I didn't do anything. It just came up and did that second thing on its own where it said the group survival. I don't know if somebody else did that, but I did. literally did nothing. I think... I think somebody rolled survival rather than clicking the group check after the group check. So no, so, I, I I did well. You're Christopher Baker that came up and did that, right? So I, I rolled the group check when I saw it. I, I don't know, whatever. It came up with the survival group check, survival of eleven. Feels like roll twenty is buggy again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so eleven is good enough. Is good enough. And the 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 thirteen from before. So you get the feeling. You're you're pretty confident that. Uh, the guys up north um, have done some good tracks. You're less confident about your um, hiding tracks. So if they do come down here, it feels good that you, you've you hidden it. But, you know, if Sherlock Holmes was coming, you don't think you're hiding it from any uh, CIS guys, uh, CSI guys that are uh, following you. Um, you just got to hope that uh, the guys following you ain't... Uh, in all they're cracked up to be. So you you get along the road, you're hightailing it. About here, guys, given to uh, one set of you have got the cart, um, just as you start coming up across the uh, woods of and corpse of trees are here, um, the other guys catch you up. So you're all back into one big solid group again. And you've got a wood here. Um, and you can all make a survival check again um, to hide yourself into the woods. So if everybody does a uh, group check. And you, someone do um, survival. Yeah, and roll. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we got a wild success. Okay, so um, yeah, er everyone basically, a um, few people push the car in deeper into the woods. Um, you you turn off the battery, um, and there's a few of you, so you can push it deeper in the woods. You're not wasting any battery as well. Um, and um, you pull down some trees and some foliage and some branches, use some dead wood. Um, and you're you're totally covered um, and can't be seen from the um, road. C um, Spencer goes back out to the road just to make sure, looks in your direction and comes back and he says, look, guys, if we don't use any torches and stuff, there's no way they're seeing us from the road. So he's super confident. Um, but it's now like bright daylight. Uh, have, we, have we slept? Uh, no, so everyone needs to um, get some sleep. Is is there anywhere as we're wandering around? So we have. Uh, let me check. I'm guessing we have survival kits, but are there, are there any houses or anywhere safe that we could take a sleep in for the evening? Not here. You'll have to use your um, tents or dig in for the night, one or the other. Yeah, I, I, I I'm going to use my tent. I, I need a little bit of comfort after this, like all this butchery. So I'm going to use my uh, survival kit. Cool. Uh, Spencer will pull out his um, and... Uh, so it's got room two in there? Uh, in Spencer's? In anybody's. <laughs> oh, Spencer, Spencer quite, like, quite likes you and thinks that you're um, a doc. So he says, uh, yeah, you can come in. Come in his. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, where did your tank go, he says? Don't see many people uh, surviving the elements without uh, some sort of shelter. I you guys, I was making a break for it, running from danger. So I just, I'd lost it along the way. You know how it goes. Okay. Um, well, good to have another doctor on board anyway. Yeah. I just realized I was muted. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <go>. <laughs> Barely made it out. And I tapped my pink backpack. Um, if I'm not too exhausted, I want to take a look at Spencer's wound and see if there's anything I can do while not having a good night's sleep. Yep, cool. Okay, uh, so make a, um, a first aid check on him. Uh, 
I want to make sure I'm not going to make it worse that way. Uh, sorry, so you use your med kit again? Uh, dang it. I thought I was basically using knowledge like a perception. Yeah, and it'll just tell us. Um, okay, so that's a fail. So, fail eight of, yeah, it's because we changed. Oh, that's right. We changed things from eight, and I. Um, have you know what? Here, let's do this. Missed one somewhere along the line. I got a couple. Let's use it. Uh, okay. Um, there you go. Okay, so um, you bind up Spencer in a couple of different places. One doesn't look like it's taken, um, but the salve and stuff that you put in the other bullet shot, <laughs> bullet wound, looks like he's, he's healing up from. Um, he, he gives um, Munch uh, a little, um, when everyone's getting ready for sort of uh, going to sleep, um, he says, um, I don't think Munch should be on guard. On what? Oh, yeah, we're going to have to do this, aren't we? What's he got against me? Um, I'll, I'll do first watch, but, um, yeah. The less maybe Munch handles a gun, the better. <laughs> he remembers who shot him. <laughs> yep. Oh, you can be like that about it. <laughs> no good deed um, goes unpunished, right? <laughs> true. Yeah. What's the new guy's name? Uh, this guy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he asks if he can. Giovanni. His name is Giovanni. Giovanni McIntosh. All right. I'm gonna come up to him with some food and ask him how he's doing. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do uh, a new daybreak, and that will take food off of all of you. Um, we're off a whole pie. Yep. Okay, and today is Saturday, the 10th of June. It starts. Uh, yeah. Anybody starts have any spare food? Uh, it's starting to rain and uh, kick in. Uh, that's no good. Uh, yeah, so it's starting to rain. Can I dive into some of those uh, snacks we brought with us? You can, but they're not any nutritional. Uh, they've got no nutritional use for you. For they'll they'll make you not hungry, but they won't give you any um, sort of nutrition for them. So they won't fulfill the need of like a ration. No. Actually, I tell you what, I'll allow them to be one ration, but you you can't you can't survive on them for more than one day, you know. You know what? That's actually a fair compromise. I like that idea because it would seem useful that you know candy bars would be around, but yeah, I'll give you the anything, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That sounds like a fair and compromise. Know, um, yeah. I'm gonna give Giovanni one of my standard rations, and I'm gonna you just take these off as we're eating. Oops, that was supposed to be a one. All right, so I'll give Giovanni a ration, and I guess I'll eat something off my own. Okay, so Actually, everyone... You know what? No, I'm not going to eat. He'll get the ration, though. I'm going to wait for a day. Okay, so you can all survive a day without a ration. Um, I just did this. Let me do Candy this. bar does sound really good. Yeah. I'm just going to do this and set up the group party. Um, set party members. And yeah, and then I should be able to roll new day for the whole party. Yeah, that's crap in it. I got to fix that. Okay, so everyone take off a uh, ration for me, please, from the uh, from their character sheets. So Spencer is taking a one of his cow carcasses out of the um, off the cart out of the refrigeration. Uh, Spencer says, um, "How much? How much food do you guys got?" 
<clears throat> so I break open my backpack and I show him all of the sugar. Um, and then I tell him I've got a couple of days left, like like normal rations, but as much of the sugar as you want, you can have. Okay. Are, Are you showing him everything in your backpack? No, no, just the uh, just rations and like the, uh, the the chocolate. So he can see how many rations you've got or not? Yeah, no, I'm being a little bit loose with it. He can see that I've got them, but I haven't shown him exactly and I'm not tipping the bag out so he can count them. Okay. Uh, how about you, Nate? You got um, you got some food. You came to us packing that uh, seemingly pretty light. Think you're on mute, Nate? Trudy? What? Uh, you have you got any food on you? Do you, do you uh... need food? I don't think I have food on me. Okay. So uh, except for the confectionery. Okay. Uh, so you can use confectionery today and you won't, uh, but you don't feel like you can use it two in a row, yeah? Um, Daryl, is he noshing into something? Uh, yeah, I'll eat some of the candy or whatever, but I, if he's going to ask what do we have on me, I'm going to show him my empty Barbie bag. Okay, so, uh, okay. Um, do we, uh, I suggest we get, we get some rest, put out a guard, and then we get some food because um, most of us don't have food. Um, uh, Spencer, Spencer really doesn't want to give. Uh, as long as everyone who's into their uh, candy bars, um, Spencer will say, um, next next stop, we've got to sort out some food. So either we stay here in the woods and we try and capture something um, uh, today, or we make a break for the town and see if we can find something. Um, Don't think any of you are surviving on that junk for more than a couple of days, he says. Are we going to hang out here for a bit? Can I try hunting? Uh, yep. You don't want to be shooting, but. Well, uh, you're, you're right about that. Uh, who's got a crossbow? <laughs> uh, no and, one knows. Are there any, there. like, uh, any camping? Well, I guess we haven't, if we passed anywhere that might, I guess we'd have called it out, but like a camping store anywhere that might have a crossbow. Uh, no, <laughs> no. This is like this is like a massive corpse of trees, rather than anything. The only reason you would find something now is because it's like uh, three years after the after the fall, so everything is starting to turn a lot greener and stuff. So instead of this being a you know bunch of trees in the middle of two townships. Um, Everywhere is grassed up, and this is kind of becoming woodland. And um, during the night, you can hear crickets and grasshoppers and stuff as everything returns a little more natural. You get the feeling that you could, you know, possibly, if you're good at hunting, um, maybe trap something or snare something. But it'll be a it'll be a a, a difficult thing in this small area. But you can give it a go. Uh, sure, why not? I can try it. Um, cool. Okay. So, um, so, <coughs> sorry. For the start of the day, Spencer will go on watch. Who else is going on watch? <coughs> I'll go and watch with him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, Spencer. Will say that's probably the safest for everyone yeah i'm trying i'm trying to make it up to him right like, i'm kind of yeah. hoping that, like if i sit with him and talk to him he'll forgive me fucking shooting him yeah he's not anti you he he's he's quite for you but yeah he, he's anti he, being shot i get it yeah he's, he's totally anti being shot and it and it hurt so uh yeah it wasn't good uh okay so that's the first two um <clears throat> uh second two and then uh, that'll that'll give us a good yeah, four or five hours sleep each. Um, I can do second watch because I can watch our Giovanni. 
Yeah, yeah. Cool. cool. Um, and Giovanni, as long as you... Right, so everyone, has anyone got any... No, no one's got any uh, wounds. Um, anyone that um, manages to survive a day and has food goes up one. So we'll push up Giovanni. Um, three, and this will be up to... Okay. <coughs> so... Giovanni is looking, uh, I wouldn't say a lot better, but he's now looking like he's not going to drop dead at any point. You're still going to have to carry him on the cart for at least a day, you reckon? Um, if we're going to go, nothing comes out of, um, you don't hear anything. Um, so clearly the tracks worked um, or they didn't come out during the day. Yeah, uh, but you don't, you don't know whether they're waiting for the night. They could be waiting for the night for all you guys know. Um, are you going hunting? And if so, how are you hunting? Well, if we don't want to make noise, maybe I could set some snares instead. Yep. Um, so I'm going to make this. We'll make this difficult. So we'll make a minus minus three C mod. I reckon um, since you don't have any much to help you all right is that a survival uh yeah, yeah. all right and oh, spencer oh, will have a go as well actually anyone else having a go uh hunting yeah i'll give it a go yeah okay so minus 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 three, three. Uh, minus three. and i'll come on it also uh, okay yep cool three can't find Do I have to click the uh, group thing, or are we all doing individual? Oh, I, I, I mm. thought it was individual, so I just did mine, but it was a shitty roll, so I'd happily retake it. Um, yeah, yeah, let's coordinate actually. Happen. Coordinate actually, and do a. Um, we'll do a minus three um, on the roll, um, and we'll do a group check. So we'll we'll lay multiple around, but it'll only give us one if we manage to find something. If that makes sense. Yep. All right. I'm going to go ahead and click my group thing, and I got the outcome on, and I got oh, yeah. minus three. Is, is everything good? Uh, yeah. I'm not sure outcome will work on the thing. You press the thing if you've got your outcome dice on. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It doesn't do outcome on the thing. Tony, are you allowed to use outcome on a group check? Uh, no, you can't. Okay. I feel like so, it'd be a bit excessive. That that didn't do the group check, by the way. So, Daryl, have you got group check? Uh, yeah. Um, I've got group check highlighted. Who else was doing it? Uh, me. Munch. Yeah, I've got mine. Just, just, let me just stop yeah. and check. But mine, yeah, mine's still on. Yeah. Uh, right. So you can't use one. So I'll just click that. Six. Yeah, we. <laughs> That doesn't look right either. Um, everyone just hit their group check again. Like take it off and put it on again? Yeah, take it off, put it on again. I'm just right. going to change the settings to beginners so that we can see what actually gets rolled. Um, hunting. Submit. There we go. Uh, one, two, five. Yeah, it, it's uh, one, two. Yeah, it's rolling right. It's just bad rolls. Sorry. So we rolled a two and a one, and we had a one and a one. So we got five. Yeah. Okay. So we spend a, um, a, a most of the sort of midday um, putting up snares and stuff, and then a couple of hours we go check the uh, snares and stuff. And because we've been trying to keep the out and lay low. Make sure we're not making too much noise, etc. Um, they've been pretty, pretty rubbish um, snares, so uh, nothing has wandered into them. We would have attracted more rabbits if we were louder. <laughs> yep. 
you distracted more rabbits if you went stomping around the undergrowth <laughs> and using vines that don't exist, etc. Um, okay, so uh, we're all in here and it's getting sort of uh, towards the end of, well, mid afternoon now. Here. Um, um, do we sleep? We, we we slept for the night, right? So we, we when you say mid afternoon, I mean we're not all kind of so dead on our feet, right? You've all slept through the morning, so you've taken okay. a couple of shifts uh, and into mid afternoon. So all right, perfect. Um, uh, and then um, a few of you went out the hunting. So so uh, really early morning to um, uh, midday, you did the sleeping. Um, so you haven't got full sleeping, but, um, I guess one of you did and Giovanni did, um, and then you hunted a bit, um, and you could have slept a bit more in there in between as well, uh, waiting for the traps to go off. But, uh, yeah, you get back now. And, um, in fact, those people that, um, spent their time, um, hunting, who are they? Uh, I was. Yeah. So I'm going to say you return to your trap um and and you're disappointed and get a break point that uh, there's nothing in your trap when you get there uh was it daryl it was daryl wasn't it? yeah yeah especially since you all didn't get something that's the point yeah exactly so you spend all of this time coordinating your efforts and yes yeah, bit bit pissy that nothing turned out um, so Spencer says, uh, yeah, we got to get food. Food's our next thing. Well, why don't we spend the rest of the daylight walking and maybe a little bit into the night? Yeah. Maybe Please if we progress today. pass some houses, we could check to see if there's anything left in them. Yeah. I, so I agree. It'd be good to find a, 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 like a house for the night or somewhere where we can sleep as a bed like we're out of the cold, you know? Yeah, for sure. So where are we heading, says Spencer? Towards Alma? Through here? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. like this area here. Okay, down, down the road. Down the road will prolong the battery in the um, cart for the longest. Okay. Uh, so, uh, let me put a tank, we'll put that, whoops, we'll put that there to say day two. That's good. I think I've just, oh right, yeah, day two. Um, Okay, so we have, we've probably got a full scale um, in the battery left because we used half of a scale here. So if we take this line off and just do that one again and just say this was the half. And then where do you want to go? Spencer says the, uh, the the more we're on the road, the better the cart will be, but the more we might bump into those idiots from psychos from the Tesla station. Are we going to make it here by dusk? Uh, Spencer, looks, Spencer looks over there and says, yeah, we'll probably get there at dusk. Well, if we're going to hit the edge of town, we might as well just take the road and make it the easiest. And not take like the first house because that would be the obvious choice, but <laughs> at least the second house, <laughs> or maybe the garage of the first house. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Spencer's okay with that. Uh, what do you reckon, Christopher? Yeah, that sounds good. Again, okay, so somebody draw on where you're, um, Helen, when you get to the uh. In fact, yeah. So we're heading down. Whoops, I just changed color. Heading down here, up over the top. Oh, are I you see. heading north or are you following the road? I'd say follow the road, just make it easy. 
Okay. Everyone happy for following Red? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So um, you trapes off um, and you're um, heading down the road. And as you get to um, here, um, you can see uh, some flashing lights in the distance. Um, and as you're as you're coming across open country, you can see a uh, police car coming towards you. Um, sirens on on the flashing lights are, and there's a mass discernible noise because you know you haven't heard a car for quite some time. Um, and there's things. It's it's not hooning towards you, but it's it's not slow either. You know. Can we jump off the road and hide? Uh, you can, but you feel it's it's seen you, which is why it's on its way. So you're in the middle of sort of um, brush and fields here, sort of thing, um, and it's coming from the sort of built up uh, this way. And is it seen us? Is it coming towards us? Yeah, it's coming down a road that that this road here uh, that's directly in line with you. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious I've seen him, so I guess just keep trucking along. And and fly casual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cock the guns. Sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. So um, the 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 police car gets to the uh, crossroads and sort of swings around and across the road, but um, allows you to walk towards him. Uh, you can see one guy gets out. Um, he puts his, um, he takes his hat off and runs his fingers through his hair um, and uh, looks at you as you're slowly marching towards him. And okay. he, he said he's a, it looks like he's wearing a sheriff's outfit? Yep, and he's got a full sheriff's outfit. Even looks laundered as well. Luther, is, is that you? Yeah, I was going to say, where's Luther? <laughs> yeah. And he's coming towards us, right? I mean, how far away from me is he at this point? So you're you're here. Uh, you're probably half a kilometer. Okay. Uh, uh, third of a mile, let's say, away from him. He is waiting at this crossroads here. Well, I guess once we get into semi shouting distance, then maybe call out and say, Hey, hey, y'all, he says, <laughs> It is loser. Hey, Sheriff, how are you? I'm fine. How are you good folks doing over there? How about you stay there a few minutes while we talk? Sure. Where are you going? All right, now we're looking for a place for the night and maybe a little food. Okay. Where you been? Oh, Have we been cool. Mirandized? <laughs> I can read those rights if you need to. No, and, I whispered uh, that under my breath to the rest of the group. We just came from down there a little bit. We were, you know, just down the road a little bit, and now we're just heading on down the road a little bit, you know? Coming from Tracy. You know Rocky and his boys? I'm not mm. familiar with a Rocky. No. Okay. So where'd you come from? Gracie, I've been running a small clinic for anybody who needs help. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's roll on that. Let's see if he knows um, anything about that. Uh, where'd I put him? Here he is. Uh, there's a chance he might know because you hang around in the same circles here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Damn those new numbers, that would have been a pass otherwise. Uh, I haven't heard of any, uh, any, uh, are, you, are you saying you're a doctor? 
more or less. Uh, well, I haven't heard any more or less doctors around here helping well, anybody. Who are you, Robin Hood? What was the name? Robin Hood. Never heard of Robin Hood. Oh, well. Well, I ain't stealing from the rich, but I'm certainly giving to the poor. Uh, Spencer um, nods at that <laughs> with a sort of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the the sheriff um, is uh, it, it's still raining, by the way. So you're shouting over the rain, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, it is. And um, he um, he starts walking around to the back of the car. I mean, feel free to take a look. I mean, we have all kinds of supplies here. Just to show I've been doing stuff. Where Where is it you're going? Just kind of heading towards the coast a little bit, you know. I'm trying to be a little, a little bit vague with him. I don't know why he wants to know so much, and we haven't seen any police for a long time, so it doesn't feel good giving this all up to him, you know? Yeah. Uh, he's... He um, he is shuffling around in the, the the trunk of his car. Are we much closer than now? Uh, are you walking towards him or are you staying there? Well, because before we were kind of hollering towards one another. Yeah. Are you are you going to walk towards him or are you? Well, how close were we beforehand? Because he you're still, still up where we were. Yeah, exactly. So you're still, you know. Okay. 300 meters, 400 meters. Okay, so not not terribly far, but... Yeah, you're not sprinting to him anytime soon. Okay. Um, he's, uh, uh, you, you get the feeling he's leaving you at a distance that, um, you know, there's there's more of you than there is of him. It's a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, doing, uh, uh, people uh, around here, uh, we kind of don't like strangers. And you guys look a bit like strangers to me. Well, I mean, the little circuit we were doing with the clinic, we've had a couple too many random run-ins, so we thought we'd try somewhere else to help more people. And here we go again with those clinics. What's in the what box? Was your, what was your name again? My name is Never You Mind. Well, hi, Never. I'm Daryl. Now we're not strangers. Hmm. Always one smart ass in every group. Uh, look, we kind of don't like strangers. If you keep north of the highway, um, I'll just let you be. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the townsfolk don't uh, kind of like... Ain't, Ain't none too pleasant to uh, anybody just walking through. Did did he say he'd give us a ride to where we want to go though? Uh, he didn't. Oh. If if uh, he he looks at the car and he says um, it's kind of fancy. Uh, yeah, well, we got to keep the uh, the med supplies in good work in good order. How much uh, med supplies do you got? Uh, we're still going through enough. I can easily help dozens of people. Do you guys need some help? Just to show you that we're friendly? Mm, I don't know. I'd have to talk to the townsfolk about that. Can we just keep moving? I mean, like we, we don't want to cause you any problems, Sheriff. Uh, you can move, but you go going north. He says, pointing, pointing upwards here. So he, he's still here. Um, I'll put the lob here. I don't know. He, he wants yeah. us to, what does he mean, knock? North, he says. Oh. So he's, he's he's here, and he's pointing up here. So as soon as you get to the oh. crossroad, he wants you to go north. So kind of implying that the townsfolk are in Olmar. Yeah. yeah. Omar and Liv uh, oh. This kind of old uh, Livermore uh, here, and um, these guys have had no end of trouble with um, 
uh, I'd call them pleasant town, but they're none too pleasant. Um, and they've just worked out a working relationship between him and um, those assholes over at the Tesla factory. So um, if you're anything to do with those, I suggest you turn back and go away. If you're uh, just heading north or uh, or west, then I suggest you just do it on the opposite side of the freeway. As long as you're on the opposite side of the freeway, we don't need to do no business. What's the deal with uh, the a-holes in Tesla factory? Yeah, who are they? A-holes in the Taylor factory? Uh, well, clearly you ain't seen them if, uh, if you don't know. Um, well, if you're still here and you still don't know of them, uh, well, Less said about them, the better. Uh, let's just say we put a few bullet holes in enough of them that they don't bother us anymore. They don't bother you anymore, so they don't come this way often at all? No. How many are there? Does he know? Uh, I don't know. A uh, few less than there were uh, about two months ago. Okay, then. Um, are there any houses north of the highway? Uh, there's a few out there. Um, it's probably not. Uh, if you if you look out there, you you see that the houses diminish on the other side of the highway. Uh, well, if there's nothing we can do to change your mind to let us go through the town, can you? Is there any? You know, we're gonna ask him nicely about anywhere we can help repair stuff. I don't know. Uh, what do you need repairing? Well, we got this cart here that's running on a battery, and we need help trying to get it charged. Hmm. Look, resources are uh, kind of why we uh, don't like the people wandering through, because resources tend to uh, wander off with them, which is uh, makes people a bit panicky, you know? All right, well... Can we work out a deal? Maybe have most of us go up north and me and our tech guy come on down. I can help a couple of people in exchange for some tech. Hmm. You have to meet the council. What council? Sure. Whoa, 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 what's this short shit, Redneck? Like, what, what, what council? <laughs> Much uh, going to get very far if this cart doesn't get fixed. Yeah, true. Town council. Hey, look, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Um, the township, uh, well, there's been a lot of fighting, um, and the township has kind of settled down to a place. You, you can go, you can go over there, he says, um, and he points past Livermore, uh, and all, and he says, uh, there's another settlement over there, you're welcome to try them, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, if you've got anything, I, I'd suggest you don't go there, uh, otherwise they'll take it away. Um, but uh, the 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 Livermore of uh, people setting up that town, they're kind of reclusive now. Let's say that, which is why they put me as sheriff to try and keep people away, so that there is uh, no trouble. All right. Um, does any? I'm asking our group. Does anybody have a radio? Uh, let me double check. I don't think so. Um, no. Don't think anyone's got a radio. Well, sure, after you get a spare radio, maybe, that we can get in contact, we'll start heading north and uh, see what the council says. Maybe we can do a deal here. You got a radio we can uh, give you some collateral for? Uh, what do you want a radio for? You mean a music well, radio? No, no, walkie-talkie, because we're going to go north. Like you suggested, but uh, ah, maybe you go. How about I take camp. you? How about I take you up north? I can pull that cart thing of yours. You know what? That'd be even better. That makes uh, it even easier. Because uh, yeah, so uh, about those guns. Would you? Yeah, pull back up in the cart. As he says that, uh, what are you shouting? Prefer them locked up in the cart. As uh, yeah. In car. Yeah, uh, I guess that'd be okay. Uh, in fact, just place them out on top. Uh, maybe, um, 
Maybe check the magazines or check the uh, check the bullets. Put them out. Put them out on top too, so that I can see them. Turn and look at everybody else. <laughs> He's rummaging around in the uh, back of the car again. Okay. Um, well, everybody, and I'm looking at Spencer, seeing how he's feeling about this. Yeah. I'm going to take Spencer's, my lead from James Bond as well over there. Spencer's a uh, little unhappy about it. He's um, He looks at his gun and looks at you uh, and looks at the um, sheriff. Says, um, I don't know, how far we got left on the uh, battery? I don't know. Well, but I mean, as long as he's on the up and up, it sounds like we ain't going to be followed. So I think we're safe there. You trust him? Uh, I trust this guy better than what we saw in the Tesla factory. Yeah. Hey, whoops. Let me... Rather a guy cosplaying as a sheriff than a creepy poltergeist girl. Ooh, don't do that. No, don't look. Don't look. Close my eyes. Oh, no. Yeah, sorry. Click off that. What, what, what are we doing? How do we get oh, off of here? I've just managed to crash my. Um... Oh, just click and it'll go away. Yeah, Everybody just click on that and send it away, please. Roll 20 has managed to crash and send the wrong thing to the screen. Nice. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Eh? Uh, I can't even make it work now. Either. That's bizarre. Okay. Uh, right. Here we go. There you go. Whoa. Uh, that's that's what the dude looks like. Oh. What happened to him? Ah, uh, I just wavy wavy oil paint the guys so that. They're... Oh, <laughs> I, th I thought he was scarred up or something. Yeah, me too. I thought it was like someone had thrown acid in his face or something. <laughs> Nah, he looks pretty um, official, um, but you you get a you know a reasonable ring from him as well. He, he he's trying to help out. He just doesn't feel like you know he wants complete strangers wandering through the place. He's still rummaging while you're deciding what you're doing in the back of the car, though. Like he's looking for something. Well, I don't have a gun, or else it'd be on the card. Spencer um, looks at his, he's got an axe in his hand um, from the guy and he, he makes a dramatic motion of putting that on the cut. If it's covered in blood, maybe put it under something. Are you telling him that? Yes, I'm telling Spencer. If I see blood all over it, I'm telling him to put it under yeah. something else. Okay. He, he, um, he looks at it and um, as he sort of takes it from where it's hooked to his backpack, um, the blood starts washing off anyway because it's pissing down with rain there. Oh, that's right. It's pouring rain, so it doesn't matter. Never mind. Yeah. So it'll, um, it'll clean itself up anyway. In no time. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't pulled out his heavy pistol, though. He's waiting for what the other guys do. What are we doing? Are we are we following this jerk off or what? Oh, he's going to give us a ride. Yeah. We ain't no fitting in that cop car. Well. Oh. It's mm, a fair point. How many of us are there? Actually, Spencer will go over to Giovanni and he'll give him a shake, wake him up. Um, and he'll say, do you know this doofus over here? And Giovanni will say, he's, ne he's never been up here before. So he doesn't know. He came from the south, right? Yeah. Well, we ain't got nothing else, and we got to leave the card if we don't move it. So maybe we just follow. But uh, keep the guns within reach, maybe? Yeah. Are I don't really want to give up my weapons to this guy. Even if... Sorry, go on. I was going to say, are you all be able to sit on the cart if he hooks it up somehow, towing it? Um, 
Yeah, yeah possibly. It's, it's not, is it that big? Uh, no, it's not massive. Uh, okay. But you would you you've already got a guy on it. Um, you were you guys will be getting in the car probably or walking alongside one or the other. Oh yeah, it looks so, like yeah. Yeah, so he's he's wanting car. us to hook our cart up to his car with all of our weapons on it. If he, he want, yeah, he wants your weapons um, on the cart that he can see. Them. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Does that smell okay to you guys? <laughs> Are you chewing uh, on the weapon? What if, what if he decides to take <laughs> off and there goes all our yeah. there goes all our weapons? Well, one of you is going to be in the front seat, and you can knock him across the face. Oh. Besides, you can't just haul because there's no way that Giovanni's getting off this cart. And I'll probably sit back here with him to make sure he doesn't fall off. Okay, so we're going to ride in the car with him. I assume that's what's going on. We'll find out in a second. Spencer jets over and he goes, how can we trust you? And he goes, well, I don't know. We're at something of an impasse. How about... Um, how about I show you goodwill? I'll tow your vehicle, um, and uh, we'll get you up up to the highway, and then you make a uh, decision what you're going to do. Uh, maybe one of you can ride in the car. Um, how about you you put the bullet uh, uh, you put the bullets in the car, and you keep the weapons. Therefore, you know you know I ain't going to race off. So we give him the weapons, but we keep the ammo. All in your magazine. Uh, no, the other way around. You can keep the weapons, but you give him the ammo. So. Well, how about the other way around? <laughs> like, 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 I'd rather sure. let him take our weapons, but I want to keep the ammo. The ammo's more valuable at this point, surely. Sure, he says. As long as there's just nothing to shoot me with, he says. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think it's pretty fair. Okay, he um, he stopped he stopped rummaging around in the back of the car. It's obviously been a um, uh, a ruse, and he uh, just pulls out this um, like canvas belt, big canvas belt um, that you use for um, pulling vehicles. He um, slaps the trunk down, and um, he just uh, he just watches you all sort of snapping. Uh, are you all? Pulling out weapons and taking out the loads. Yeah, in a very unthreatening way. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. not like pulling the guns out as quickly as I can and pointing them at him before <laughs> emptying them. I mean, this is like very <laughs> obvious that I'm not being a dick, you know? Yeah, so as long as you look to be an unarming, he, he gets back in the car. And as the car comes towards you, the closer he gets, he just. He just points at you all and just says, move away from the vehicle slightly. Um, and I assume you all step back a bit. And he just does a three-point turn, uh, puts the car behind. He goes, uh, nice to meet y'all. Um, and um, he says, uh, I'm Carlin. Um, and uh, yeah, well, let's get you up past the highway. Um, I can put you in a, uh, a little house up there if you want, um, and you can take a, uh, a break for the night if you want. And then maybe tomorrow I can introduce you to the council. Um, won't be all of you, and you'll, um, you'll need, to, I'll need to keep your guns, obviously, while that happens. And, um, you know, you can see what you can get out of them. I can't promise anything, though, okay? Uh, reach and shake his hand. Say, yeah, Chris Christopher. Yeah, yeah, totally. Thanks, man. Cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I do a good Borat impersonation where I give my high fives and say, "Great success." <laughs> <laughs> okay. He um, he he tosses the end of the um, strap to. I'm going to say Spencer. He looks the most capable. Um, and Spencer um, makes a makes a big loop around the front of the uh, cart, and you get to turn it off again. So you've got um, probably thirty percent cart left because um, you haven't used it that much again. Um, and he's going to be pulling it. So he starts um, as Spencer ties up the back of it. He again keeps you one side of him. You've all got ammo in your hands and pockets and bags or whatever. He doesn't, um, 
He doesn't search you, but he does give you a very strong eye over to make sure, you know, there's no bulges coming out of your clothes, etc. Um, and yeah, he takes the um, weapons and he just throws them in the trunk. Um, is anyone close going to get close to the trunk at all? Um, I assume I'm probably sitting on top of the cart. So if I can see anything. Yeah. Okay. So make a, let's see if you make a perception roll. Just no mod. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you, you, in being on the cart, you're you're trying not to be offensive or anything, so you don't see anything in there as he chucks all your weapons in there. Um, and he, he does just seem pretty genuine. He just says, do you, any of you guys want to ride? I can stick you in the back if you want, but um, you'll be locked. Forewarning, you'll be locked in um, until I open the outside door. Roll the windows down. Uh, I, I actually feel I'll be okay with that, right? So I might be able to get a little bit of a nap. I feel like I'm kind of safe and protected. Okay. So uh, Munch will go in. Uh, Spencer is not getting in the um, in the back. He'll probably walk along the side. What are you doing, Christopher? And Nate and Daryl. I'm riding on the cart. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk alongside of it. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do what Daryl's doing. Walking alongside. Oh, you got cool. the back seat to yourself. Yeah, I'm yeah. waving to people from the inside. I feel like a big kid. I feel pretty cool doing this. <laughs> He's in a ride along with a cop for the yeah. first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Matt, I'm doing the Queen's <laughs> wave. You're probably the only one that would get that, but I'm doing the Queen's uh, wave to them as yeah, I drive along. I was going to make that exact joke and then thought that's going to not land <laughs> um, in this group. But uh, yeah, oh, okay. He, he takes you up to the road, and sure enough, he just takes you uh, along down here, and you get to this crossroads a little bit past it, and um, there's a... It's like a, uh, it's a motel, uh, but a very small one, yeah. Um, it's really run down, um, but it's just on the north side of the highway. Um, and he just says, uh, you guys can lay up here if you want. Um, he, he nudges um, Munch in the back, who's already probably gone to sleep. Yeah. Um, and he just says, uh, you, you can join your mates outside if you want. Uh, and he opens the door. So you guys can get out. Um, he um, he moves the car over as close as he can to the outside of the uh, to the the front of the place where you're staying, um, and you realise that there's nowhere to put the car inside. So the car will be outside at the front, unless you want to take it around the back of the motel. I might as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a bit rocky and stuff, so you feel like you can't. You're not going to get a good. A clean getaway or anything if it's around the back yeah uh but it won't be right next to the road um so it won't be seeable um quickly and easy because uh if you guys um are okay staying there um i will uh come back and see you in the morning i'll uh, warn the council and uh, see if they can convene for you tomorrow thanks right. sheriff Thank you. he's not leaving with our weapons in the trunk right uh, he, he he is at the moment. <laughs> oh, well, we got to have a little protection for the night. Well, I mean, we are on the other side of the highway, like he wanted us. How about I? How about I leave you one or two guns? I don't want an army coming into the town. Uh. You know what? Well, how, how, how do we know? I mean, it, it doesn't feel right. I mean, look, Sheriff, <clears throat> we've played square with you. We gave you our weapons and stuff, and now you're telling us that there's crazy people in the Costco and you want us to sleep unarmed in the hotel or in the, this like motel or whatever. It doesn't seem right. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I'll um, give me give me ten minutes, and I'll come back and I'll stay. <laughs> <over here. laughs> Ten minutes, nobody's going to get in here. In ten minutes, you okay, okay with that? 
I, I'm okay with that. I trust him enough. He's been, he's been square with us. And again, I had a little bit of a nap in the back of his car, so I feel kind of a little bit intimate with him. Yeah. I start giving everybody a really suspicious look and eye, like, hmm. What are you feeling? Spencer's not happy. I'm, I'm feeling like this is a trap. Yeah. We're, we're sitting exactly where he knows we are, unarmed. <laughs> Staying out of this conversation, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. I think I'm okay with this. Uh, let's um, see. What we can do. Ah, I just want to try this. Hold on. Uh, can't feel it. Hey, Matt, I do have to call it quits in the next, like, 10 minutes yeah. or so. All right, that's my man. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's just do it. Uh, does everybody get a gut yeah. check? Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that worked well. Work the other one didn't, then. I don't understand. Uh, so, yeah, you get a gut check on, on the guy. Um I've put a positive C mod on there, so you you should see him relatively good. Um, he he's, he seems pretty genuine with um, what he said. That's not to mention that he isn't an a hole and won't run off there. So entirely up to you. Spencer's not happy about giving his gun. Um, he looks at the dock and he says, um, "How about uh, we get we keep one gun." At least. How about um, one gun each? Yeah, shit. yeah, that's all we had, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of right. getting that. I've got two. Oh, did anyone keep a gun? Hidden? No. Okay, Spencer didn't. Because um, he only had one. Uh, the problem is the cop doesn't trust. Uh, you don't get the feeling the cop trusts Spencer, so he doesn't uh, want to give the, doesn't want to give him again. He he walks up to you, Christopher, and he says, "You, I, I get a good feeling off you. How about um, how about I give you a gun, um, and uh, I'll give you one clip, and um, you know." My word that I'll be back soon. Ten minutes. I'm. Yeah, ten minutes. Okay. He um, he hands you a his own pistol. Um, as he he lifts up the trunk of his car, and um, you will see inside it um, a carbine in the back of the car. Um, he, which is his own as well as the one you put there. Um, and he lifts that out, gives you his pistol out of his um, gun. And he says, uh, you, you take good care of her and uh, I'll see you in 10. Okay. And he uh, jumps in the car. As long as none of you are doing anything, he um, drives down into the town. He doesn't seem in any super. We don't, we don't hear him laughing or saying suckers or anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, no. And he's not calling. Um, he's not calling. Doesn't seem to be calling the Tesla factory either. We got it. Um, so yeah, let's leave it there. And um, yeah, he will. Um, he trundles off um, into the, into the team. Uh, around a few corners and you can't see him anymore and you can hear the uh, car drifting off into the into the um, urban landscape and that's us done for the day Beautiful. Good? that was awesome Matt cool cool good stuff um, and yeah, next week it'll be Tony yeah yeah back to back to Georgetown and the uh, the, the biker uh -huh. gang I'm excited. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and we'll—I'll see if I can get the um, 
Twitch stuff going, and then we can use the all the uh, OBS, OBS stuff that you've put OBS in. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, and I can probably give you the OBS stuff as well. Um, to, although it's it's geared towards um, my stuff at the moment, but I can I can mock something up for you. I will figure it out. Cool. This was awesome. Thank you. Good night, gentlemen. Cool. Real stuff. Yeah, good Cheers. one. I will uh, speak to you next week. All right, have fun. Have a good week, everyone. Good night.